hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me once again in today's video so i've actually gotten this a lot from people they are always asking maggie what do you use for your hair what product do you use for your hair but nobody asks what to do you use for your hair you know in as much as hair products are, are very important for hair growth the tools that we use for our hair is also very important and we have to be conscious when we are selecting hair tools because not all hair tools is good for our hair so in today's video i would just love to highlight those tools that you need like you really really cannot do without them if you are interested in growing a healthy a healthy no, let's, let's even leave length like if you're interested in growing a healthy hair in this year 2024 these are the tools that you should not do product is what helps you to manage your hair those oil creams liquid that help you to manage your hair why choose are the things that you need to apply the product you get it just now we have a lot of hair tools but you don't need all of them i'm just going to give you the important ones that you need the first one i'll be stressing on is bonnet yes bonnet bonnet i'm not just going to be telling you the tools i'm also going to be telling you the uses of these tools like i mentioned bonnet bonnet is actually what helps you to keep moisture retained in your hair for quite a long time like let's say i have to apply moisture i have to moisturize my hair every week like once twice every week and then i go to sleep without a bonnet that means i have to moisturize my hair every day because when i moisturize my hair a day it takes like three days the moisture takes about three days before it dries up but when i go to sleep at night let's say i moisturize my hair today and i go to sleep at night it's faster that moisture won't even stay up to 24 hours because once i put my hair down on the pillowcase without the bonnet the moisture is gone so bonnet help to keep the moisture in your hair trapped in your hair for quite a number of days secondly bonnet helps your hairstyle your protective hairstyle to last longer that is why you actually need bonnet bonnet are very very important tools when it comes to hair growth you cannot do without bonnet like there, there are no two ways about it that's why i'm actually bringing it first secondly you need a spray bottle yes spray bottle are those bottles that help you to apply liquid on your hair when i talk about moisturizing moisturize your hair moisturize your hair moisturize your hair if you don't have a spray bottle you are wrong because it's a spray bottle that helps to apply the moisture when i talk about moisturize your hair definitely your hair is dry when you are moisturizing it. washing your hair is different for moisturizing moisturizing your hair in terms of applying liquid um liquid cream and oil that is the seo method now the liquid which is the first thing is in form of water so you need something to spray it around your hair your your fingers can't do that because when you apply liquid on your hands what does it do it it goes out before you even get it on your hair so you need a spray bottle that you can get liquid into so that you can be able to spray it around your hair that is what a spray bottle does the next product that you need for your hair growth is a steaming hat is it a steaming cap yes an electronic steaming cap an electronic steaming cap is what helps you to deep condition your hair like it helps it really goes a long way when it comes to deep conditioning your hair so you need it in order to perfectly deep condition your hair another tool that you need for your hair are combs yes i said combs because yes we need combs and there are different kinds of combs but a lot of us don't, don't know that they are for different uses we have white tooth comb there is the rat tail comb there is the red comb there is the afro comb and so many other combs now for instance i just take down my protective style like i took down my protective style and i want to detangle my hair there's a kind of comb that goes in line with that need which is the white tooth comb i cannot be detangling my hair with a rat tail comb i cannot be detangling my hair with an afro comb i cannot be detangling my hair with a red comb 
what I need at that moment is my white tooth comb because white tooth comb is kind of is mild on the hair is gentle on the hair and because it's white enough it doesn't come dragging like dragging your hair that is why you need combs and you need different types of comb for different uses we all know the rat tail comb is used for picking the hair let's say you want to make a protective style and you want your neat and your lines to be well defined that is what the rat tail comb does the next product you need for your hair is the blow dryer i don't know how important this is but to me it's actually very important because whenever i wash my hair and i go out in the sun hoping that the sunlight will help my hair to dry i always end up with that itchy scalp most of us don't like to air dry because it causes our scalp to itch so that is why you need your blow dryer in case you're one of those people who don't like to air dry you actually need to get a blow dryer the next tool that you need for your hair when you talk about hair growth is your scissors you need your, your scissors is very very important remember the, the last video one of the last videos I made I talked about hair trimming I said we shouldn't trim but we should dust you actually need scissors for dusting you can't actually do without them even though you are not trimming you are dusting you also need scissors and there are different types of scissors but there is this particular one that is actually used for hair trimming so don't get it wrong make sure that is the type that you are getting the next two that you need for your hair is hair scrunchies yeah scrunchies is very very important some of us always pack our hair with rubber bands like that's very bad like when i see that i'm always like oh no this is bad like it's very very bad for you to be packing your hair with rubber band first they are not even beautiful like they make you look so cheap they make your your 150,000 euro wig to look so cheap so you need to get scrunchies girl you're a lady get yourself scrunchies yeah they are nice ones out there and guess what they're actually cheap get yourself sponges because sponges also help to protect your hair rubber bands get your hair all tangled and it's actually difficult for you to loosen it up when you have used it to pack your hair which will cause tangle in that part of the hair and when your hair is tangled it comes out breaking your hair so that's why you need scrunchies scrunchies are easier for you to use to pack your hair and actually easy for you to untie when you want to take it out of your hair that is why you should get scrunchies because they are mild and they are more friendly to your hair so get yourself scrunchies yes scrunchies thank you that's actually the tools that I think you need this 2024. If I have any one that pops into my head, I can actually make this video again and I will include it in the video. But if you have something or something else that you think we need, tools that we need for our hair, please can you kindly share with us. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed and you learned a lot. Yeah, I hope you did. Thank you and um, don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Thank you so much.